Have you ever wondered what Earth was like before the dinosaurs? Let's take a journey back in time, about four and a half billion years ago, to the very formation of our home planet, Earth. Picture a newborn world, fresh from the cosmic oven, a fiery sphere of molten rock spinning in the vast emptiness of space. This isn't the blue and green oasis we call home today, oh no! This was a time when Earth was a seething, roiling, hellish world with temperatures so extreme they could melt rock into a flowing river of lava. But things didn't stay this way for long. Our planet began to cool. The molten surface started to solidify, forming the first crust, a thin skin over the still, fiery heart of the Earth. This crust was constantly in flux with volcanic eruptions regularly reshaping the landscape, spewing out gases to form our planet's first atmosphere. This early atmosphere was a cocktail of water vapor, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, with a pinch of methane and ammonia for good measure. It was a far cry from the oxygen-rich air we breathe today. But this thick, noxious blanket of gas played a crucial role, acting as a buffer, protecting the young Earth from the harsh cosmic radiation of the sun. And as the planet cooled further, something magical happened. The water vapor in the atmosphere began to condense and fall as rain, creating the first oceans. These primordial seas, coupled with the solidifying crust, represented a monumental shift in our planet's history. They formed the stage upon which the most extraordinary story would unfold. The evolution of life. But life, as we know it, was still a far-off dream. The conditions on this early Earth were harsh, inhospitable, and volatile. Yet it was from these tumultuous beginnings, from this cauldron of chaos, that the first building blocks of life would eventually emerge. And so the stage was set for the first forms of life to emerge on our planet. With the Earth's crust cooled and solidified, the Archean Eon began. It was a period of time that spanned from roughly four billion to two and a half billion years ago. In this Eon, the Earth was a place of contrasts, a world of fire and water, of molten rock and oceans that were just beginning to form. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Archean Eon is known for two major developments. The first is the emergence of life as we know it. The second is the formation of the first continents. Now, when we talk about life in the Archean Eon, we're not talking about dinosaurs or even fish. No, we're talking about something much simpler, but no less remarkable. We're talking about single-celled organisms. These tiny life forms, invisible to the naked eye, were the first to call Earth home. They were incredibly resilient, capable of surviving in conditions that would be deadly to most life forms today. Around the same time, the first continents were beginning to form. These landmasses weren't like the continents we know today. They were smaller, and they were constantly shifting and changing, driven by the intense heat and pressure from deep within the Earth. But let's not forget about the oceans. Water is crucial for life as we know it. And during the Archean Eon, the first oceans began to form. These bodies of water were a far cry from the clear blue seas we have today. They were murky and full of minerals, but they provided a crucial habitat for those first single-celled organisms. So, to sum up, the Archean Eon was a time of firsts. The first life forms, the first continents, the first oceans. It was a time of change and evolution, of new beginnings and remarkable transformations. Life had taken its first tentative steps and the Earth would never be the same again. The stage was set for the next chapter in our planet's history. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's just marvel at the remarkable journey that life on Earth has taken, from those first single-celled organisms to the diverse array of life we see today. As we moved into the Proterozoic Eon, life on Earth began to evolve and diversify. It's a fascinating era that spans nearly two billion years of Earth's history, from two and a half billion to about 540 million years ago. During this time, Earth was a world in transition. The Proterozoic Eon saw the development of the Earth's atmosphere and the increase in oxygen levels, a period known as the Great Oxygenation Event. This event was a real game-changer, folks. It was the first time that the Earth's atmosphere had enough oxygen to support life forms that rely on this gas for survival. But where did this oxygen come from? From the tiniest of organisms, cyanobacteria, 
microscopic organisms that use photosynthesis to convert sunlight into energy, began to flourish during the Proterozoic Eon. As a byproduct of their photosynthesis, they released oxygen into the Earth's atmosphere. Over millions of years, these humble bacteria played a crucial role in shaping the Earth's atmosphere into something that could support more complex life forms. And indeed, it did. The Proterozoic Eon was also the time when the first multicellular organisms appeared. Around one billion years ago, the first multicellular life forms began to evolve, setting the stage for the diversity of life that we see today. These multicellular organisms were initially simple composed of just a few cells. But over time, they evolved into more complex forms. They became the first plants, the first animals, and eventually, the first humans. And it wasn't just life that was evolving during the Proterozoic Eon. The Earth itself was changing too. The continents as we know them began to take shape, and the Earth's climate began to stabilize. The Proterozoic Eon was a time of significant change and development, it laid the groundwork for the complex and diverse world we live in today. With the stage set, life on Earth was about to enter a new and exciting chapter. Welcome to the Paleozoic Era, a time of incredible diversity and change. Spanning from around 540 million to 250 million years ago, the Paleozoic Era was a time of profound evolution and transformation. This era was a time when life, as we know it, took a giant leap forward. The Cambrian Explosion, a period of rapid speciation that occurred around 530 million years ago, was a defining event of this era. This explosion of life was so significant, it's often referred to as biology's Big Bang. During the Cambrian Explosion, life diversified dramatically. Simple, single-celled organisms evolved into a vast array of complex multicellular creatures. The oceans teemed with life, from tiny trilobites to massive sea creatures, setting the stage for the evolution of the first plants and animals. The Paleozoic era also saw the development of the first terrestrial plants, marking the beginning of life's conquest of land. These early plants were simple and lacked roots or leaves, but over time, they evolved into the first forests, forever changing the landscape of our planet. These forests became the cradle for the evolution of land-dwelling animals. Speaking of animals, the Paleozoic era was an exciting time for them too. Fish, the first vertebrates, made their debut in the oceans, and over time evolved into a myriad of forms. Some even developed jaws and teeth, giving rise to the first predators. Insects, the first animals to take to the skies, also emerged during this era. These early flyers played a pivotal role in the evolution of terrestrial ecosystems pollinating plants, and serving as a food source for other animals. The Paleozoic era, with its incredible diversity and change, set the stage for the evolution of more complex life forms. It was a time when life on Earth took some of its most significant steps, shaping the world we know today. The Paleozoic era laid the groundwork for the age of the dinosaurs, but that's a story for another time. So. What was Earth like before the dinosaurs roamed its surface? It's a question that takes us back billions of years to a time when our planet was still in its infancy. We started our journey with the formation of the Earth about four and a half billion years ago. Back then, Earth was a molten mass, a seething cauldron of rock and metal. But over time, it cooled and solidified, giving rise to the first continents and oceans. Following this, we delved into the Archean Eon, which spanned from four to two and a half billion years ago. This was an era of intense volcanic activity and a time when life first began to emerge. The early life forms were simple, single-celled organisms, but they were the pioneers, the first to stake a claim on this new world. Next, we journeyed into the Proterozoic Eon, which lasted from two and a half billion to 540 million years ago. During this time, life became more complex evolving from single-celled organisms into multicellular life forms. This was a significant step in the evolution of life, setting the stage for the explosion of diversity that was to come. And finally, we entered the Paleozoic era, which spanned from 540 to 252 million years ago. 
This was a time of great change, a time when the first plants colonized the land and the first animals began to emerge from the sea. It was a time when life, as we know it, began to take shape. Each of these stages in Earth's history played a crucial role in setting the stage for the age of the dinosaurs. They laid the groundwork, creating the conditions necessary for these magnificent creatures to evolve and thrive. So, the next time you marvel at the dinosaurs, spare a thought for the billions of years of Earth's history that set the stage for their existence.